Om Shanti. Welcome to the second in the series Being Shakti. And today we will look at the power to withdraw. The symbol for this power is the tortoise. And the tortoise is one who has a hard shell, which is his home. So his home is with him. He doesn't have any other home. He withdraws into his shell and everything is merged when he has finished his activities. And then when he has to do something, he will pull out the head, the tail and the forelegs and do something. And then when that is done, he will withdraw again. How is this capacity to withdraw considered as a power? And under what circumstances would we use this power? One thing that is very important in spiritual practice is to again and again return to the ground of being, which is this awareness of one's identity, the soul, a spark of light, a pure being, who is not the body. I am not my body. I use the body to get things done. So I, the being, am an actor. So sometimes we act, sometimes we don't. And when we don't have to do anything, then to use the power to go deep inside means that I, the spirit, can connect with the higher power, the Supreme Being, Shiva, and draw power into myself. In order to be Shakti and enjoy all the powers to live as an empowered being of light in the world, we need power. And we can only gain power when we practice pulling back from the body, pulling back from the world, becoming independent, free and detached from the humdrum daily world which constantly pulls at our attention. Different people demand our attention, our energy, our participation and then there are many times when we are not required to engage and then we have free time. Time is short, time is very valuable and time is running out. So whenever we get free time, use this power. Understand here is a moment where I can withdraw, I can detach. I can go deep inside to the bottom of my being and in that space I can turn my attention beyond to the world of light, the world that is called Nirvana and there in that world of light, the world beyond sound, I have access to the source of power. Every time we come into action, we use power. Whenever we waste time and energy, that power is getting lost. Like leaving on the tap with water running, pretty soon you run out of water and the soul runs out of power very easily. Spiritual practice involves an accumulation of power because while we use the power we accumulate in daily life, 
we want to accumulate much more than we spend because this is the time for accumulation. This is the time when the soul has become completely depleted at the end of a karma cycle. And this is the time to draw power into the self for the future, for maybe many lives to come. So we need a lot of power. And the power to get power lies in this practice of withdrawal. We also need to carve out time from our schedule. We need to let people around us know that we need alone time, we need quiet time, when we can go deep into the self in deep silence completely detached from all the things of the world, go into deep silence, experience the self independently of the humdrum world, go to another dimension, the dimension of being bodiless, free from our performances, free from all the personas that we display and become just one point of light, focused on one and with laser beam precision connect. This is yoga connect and pull energy, pull light into the self. The soul must become charged, recharged. At the end of your regular day, it's very common to put your cell phone on charge because maybe you're not expecting any calls, you don't use it for any other applications and you just put it on charge because you want that cell phone to be um, fully available for you. In the same way, use the power to withdraw, to just disconnect, to effectively switch off from all of the normal activities and just connect to the power source. Be focused, be quiet, be internalized and just feel that energy getting pulled into the self. You start to glow and experience that there are many, many different kinds of powers that you need, but the essence of all those powers lies in this ability to detach, to withdraw, to focus, connect and charge up. The process of charging up means we have to be concentrated. And when we are withdrawn, that means we are withdrawn from sense organs, withdrawn from sense perceptions. You are there in your body, in the world. You can see and hear the sights and sounds, but your focus of attention is not on those. Your focus of attention is within. And then, though there may be sounds, you're not distracted, your attention is not drawn. You are sufficiently aware to know that if there is something important, then you will attend to it. But most of the time, it's just distractions and there's really no need to let the self get distracted. But the mind is easily distracted. You 
think that, okay, you will spend some time, you will focus on your meditation, and yet you find difficulty with concentration. You find that though you don't want to be distracted, something distracts you. It doesn't necessarily have to be an external thing that distracts you. There are plenty of distractions that occur from the inner side of things. A memory, a thought, uh, some association will cut your concentration and you will find yourself spinning off. You don't even know how long you have been away from your intended focus of attention. But this is why there is the practice and this is why withdrawal is called a power because you need the power of concentration to focus so that you can actually succeed in withdrawing when you want, coming into action when you want, being detached when you want, being a witness, an observer, knowing when to participate, when to let go. This power of withdrawal enables you to be fully in command so that you can do what you want, when you want, how you want, if you want, for how long you want, and not if you don't want. This power of withdrawal is very essential and enables us to develop and cultivate the other powers which we will be looking at as the series progresses. One thing that we are very much affected by is attraction and repulsion. Attraction, attachment, we have people, places and things in our lives that we like, that we are drawn to, and others that we are repelled by. The power of withdrawal is a very extraordinary power that allows us to be um, independent and free from this magnetic force of attraction and repulsion. Again, the power has to be practiced through meditation. It has to be cultivated. And we have to go deep inside ourselves to identify exactly what it is that pulls our attention. Where are we drawn? What repels us? Mostly it is relations. We are very much involved in people. We have relatives, friends, colleagues, associates, and there are people all around us with whom we have some kind of karmic account. And the power of a karmic account is such that it will pull us as an attraction or it will repel us as something that wants us to avoid and refuse and try and get away from. But usually the power of karmic accounts is greater than the power of the individual soul and this is why it is said that the soul is disempowered that the soul is in bondage, that the soul wishes, wants, needs, must regain its original power. And this is why there is a need to practice. Meditation means to connect with the source and draw power. But you need power in order to get power, just like you need money in order to raise money. Power is a kind of money, but it's not physical dollars or rupees or uh, euros. It's not that kind of currency. 
What we're looking at here is the currency of personal spiritual power. And that personal spiritual power is focused deep within. And this is why in spiritual practice we must again and again turn the attention within, connect, fill the self, come out into action, perform pure karma, independent from the energies that try to pull us into negative karma. There are plenty. The power of withdrawal helps us to remain really in contact with our essential purity so that the karma that we perform corresponds to who we are essentially and gradually we build up two things. One is the power of yoga, second is the power of pure karma and by practicing the power of withdrawal we are able to accumulate these two powers, yoga and pure karma. One thing that people are deeply afraid of is pain, loss, death. And the power of withdrawal helps us to deal with this deep-seated fear that very often we don't really want to think about. At the present time in the world today, Everyone is aware of the pandemic, the COVID-19, and there are many restrictions and people find it difficult to endure being alone, being at risk to get sick, having relatives and friends at risk to get sick. I think Nowadays, everyone in the world knows some who have left their bodies because of the epidemic, many who are sick, still sick, some who have recovered, some who still experience many physical health problems because of this. And so this fear is becoming more and more widespread. The power of withdrawal is very helpful at such a time because what we become aware of with the power of withdrawal is the eternal immortal soul that I am within. Externally everything is mortal, it is temporary and we receive things and we lose things. This is the nature of life. But when a person is not in their power, then the fear of loss, the fear of pain and the fear of death can be a really big issue. We cannot allow ourselves to be limited and um, paralyzed by these kinds of fears, we need to sit with ourselves and address this with ourselves. And so, when you sit in meditation, take time to just be present for yourself and know the self as a pure, peaceful, powerful, loving, blissful and eternal being of light. The power of withdrawal means letting go and pulling back from the body, from sense perceptions, going deep within to touch, to touch base, to make contact with that self that you are, that self that each one is. So let us take a few moments now to practice the power of withdrawal as a meditation.
First of all, take a couple of breaths. Let yourself be relaxed and calm. Become aware of the energy of your being that has spread throughout your body. That you, the living being, are connected with your eyes, your ears, your fingers, your sense of smell and taste, and you're connected to the world. You're also independent of the world. And so, take a few moments to step back from the tangible everyday world and turn within to feel the beauty of your being. cease to be me. I will never cease to be the individual being that I am. I have played my part many years in this world. People, places and things have come and gone. I feel myself, my inner being, pure. I let go. All my attachments. I become silent, introverted. I become aware of the supreme being beyond. I withdraw from this world and this body. Like I'm a star floating in space. Serene, quiet, and in my power. I am not afraid of loss, death. Everything comes and goes. And I myself am forever bathed 
in the light of the Supreme Being, filling with that power and light. And then gently, I let myself return to the everyday world, reconnecting with the body, the things, the theatre of the world, the sounds and sights. And I am in my power. I am a free and independent being.